everybody. Welcome to the show for this week. Uh, for this episode, we're coming to you straight from quarantine, um, but we're we're still giving you the content that, that you deserve. On this episode, we're going to show you our quarantine workspaces, um, introduce you to some of our friends, uh, namely our pets, and give you some recommendations about some things that you can do while you're hanging out at home. Uh, before we get to the staff, I'm going to show you a little bit of my workspace here. So, here is where I sit in the morning to do my work and throughout the day. My chair, my computer, my coffee, my little notebook, and the living room. Good natural light, no TV for distraction. There's a, a stroller in a box, candy, front window, we've got plants, we've got a, a record player, we've got cats, we've got it all. Beautiful view, there's another cat, and here's where I'll be putting the show together when uh, this is all done. So. Let's see what everybody else has to say. Hey, little buddy. Oh, hey, welcome to my quarantine workspace. You're just in time for the tour. Let's get started. My workspace is in the sunroom of our house. The windows on the wall allow for the sunlight to come in while I'm working. It's pretty nice. All right. On this side of my desk, you have your standard pencils and pens that I use daily, this cute sign from Target, and this washi tape that I use for bullet journaling and other fun things. These two journals are super important on my desk. My planner allows me to track homework assignments and make schedules for the day. And my bullet journal is just for personal tracking of goals. On this side of my desk, we have another cute sign from Target, some more washi tape, and a fun fact is this bouquet was from homecoming and it still stayed good. So it's a cute decorative for my desk. All right, inside my desk, we just have some pens and stickers and white out things that you would use daily in a workspace. Over here is some more of the things that I use daily in my workspace. These pens, another fun fact, are all birthday gifts, so I didn't have to buy these, but I use them every day. Then there's just some more cute pictures of me and my brother when we were younger. Over here is my brother's desk for when he wants to draw and write things. I hope you enjoyed my quarantine workspace. Um, hi, I'm Bella Fritz, and this is my dog, Mia. Um, she, she's almost a year old. Okay, that's not gonna work. She's almost a year old, and her birthday is actually the same as my birthday, which is May 25th. Um, as you could tell, Mia's very hyper. Um, she's still a puppy, pretty much. Um... Her favorite toy is this one, this red one, and this shark, as you can tell, because it's like pretty worn out. Um, she really likes ice cubes. I don't know. This is, this is my dog. Um, she's super playful. She will play any time of the day. She's definitely been keeping me a lot of company during this quarantine and giving me something to do. With all the spare time I got, I finally got to paint my go-kart. That's a nice red and black on the front and the side with the cardinal and race quip. And as we move to the side, we got fake supreme, apple, K&N. As we keep going to the side panel, we got Rusty's from the Cars movie, STP, Sinclair, and a couple other stickers. Then we move to my number, the Flying 11. We got a Saucony in the back. As we move to the Back of the go-kart, we got Einstein giving whoever I pass a nice little face. As we keep going to the other side, it's the same thing as the other. And some stickers in here as well. 
And yeah, super happy with how it turned out. Hope your break's going good. This is Griffin signing out. Stay safe. Hi, today I'm going to be making a dessert called Dream Bars. There are five ingredients, it's super easy, so let's go. Start by melting a stick of butter. Pour the butter into one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs and mix that together. Pour the mixture into the pan. Press it into the bottom of the pan. Now sprinkle chocolate chips over this crust. Add half a package of coconut. And drizzle a can of sweetened condensed milk on top. Then just throw that in the oven for 25 minutes and it's done. So here I am out here in the in the woods here, and this has kind of been a normal setting for me um, over the break so far. It's really been, it's going to become probably the most exciting part of my day, and that's because we are here bike riding. So I come out here every day for about an hour, and I just, you know, see what I can see, get my exercise. It's really great um, if you haven't done so to get out of the house. Um, while you, when you can, when your work's done, um, it is still allowed as per um, the recent orders. So I definitely recommend you do it. You could see all sorts of interesting wildlife. You might hear the birds right now, or right across from where I'm sitting right now. Actually, this is actually a pretty frequent deer crossing. So not too long ago, I saw a family of six right about here, and. That would include two younger ones. So, all in all, pretty great place to be. Nice way to spend your time over the break. So, that's my top choice. Hello, this is Anthony Biandillo, and today I'm going to share with you my top five favorite movies of 2019. Because throughout this quarantine, you need a lot of great stuff to watch, and none of these five films will disappoint. But before I begin, I want to give a quick honorable mention with Tom Hanks' A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, which is probably the most heartfelt film of the year. If you need a little pick-me-up, this is the film to watch. With that now said, my number five is Sam Mendes' 1917. This is one of the most inventive war films I've ever seen. While narratively, it's a story we've all seen before, the technical achievement of this film makes it unlike any other war film ever seen before. The cinematography is breathtaking, and you cannot go wrong with this film. Now, my number four is Taika Waititi's Jojo Rabbit. With the style of Wes Anderson and the humor that only Taika Waititi can bring to a film, Jojo Rabbit is both heartfelt and hilarious. You cannot go wrong with a Taika Waititi film. So if you enjoyed Thor Ragnarok, which he also directed, make sure you check out Jojo Rabbit. Now my number three is on Netflix, which is Noah Baumbach's Marriage Story, starring Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson. This is an incredibly emotional film, but I highly recommend it. It is incredibly well made, and regardless of what stage of your life you're in, you can appreciate a lot in Marriage Story. Now my number two is just a fun ride, which is Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I saw this film four times so far, three times in the theaters, and it is just a blast. From the 60s soundtrack to the phenomenal performances, you can't go wrong with Quentin Tarantino. And lastly, my favorite film of the year is on Netflix, which is a three and a half hour mob epic known as The Irishman, directed by Martin Scorsese, starring Joe Pesci, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, Harvey Keitel, and many more. This is a film that all cinephiles adore and the casual public can really appreciate. From some of the greatest performances by some of the greatest Italian actors ever to live, The Irishman looks back in Scorsese's life and his filmography and tells these classic mob stories in a new, fresh, and emotional way. With that now said, I hope you at least took away one of these picks that you can take into your quarantine and keep watching movies. Hey, it's Tessa, and I was bored in quarantine today, so I decided to make peanut butter cookies, and they turned out really, really bad because I didn't have any eggs, and I looked it up, and it said I could use a banana, but don't trust what you read online because it didn't work at all. They turned out so bad, but anyways, I was mashing up the banana, and then I put it in the mix, and 
as you can see, I put in the mix. And then I was stirring it and I was mixing in my vanilla and cinnamon. And the mix looked pretty good. Like it didn't look like it was gonna turn out bad. And I put it on the cooking sheet and you know, it was, things were going good. Things were going really, really good. And I preheated the oven and then I put the cookies in. And um, about six minutes later, I check on them and they look like this. And I'm like, oh no. And then I put them back in because I think it's going to help something and it doesn't. And then my mom gets really mad at me because I use a lot of peanut butter. And that's really it. Okay, bye. So for this week's assignment, I am doing a tour of my quarantine time workspace. And this is pretty much it. I just sit on my bed with my computer and I'll pull up my work from my book bag. And this is where I do all my work. I just try to stay on task by just doing it as soon as I wake up. And then I finish it as quick as I can to go back to Netflix after. Thank you for watching. Everyone stay safe and healthy. So this right here is my workspace. I do all of it on this laptop and I have games and stuff that I could play when I'm done and then my schoolwork, if I have to do art or something, I put the work that I'm done with over there. Mostly everything's on this laptop. I got a nice chair. Got some nice things around here. And yeah. This is a personality profile on my dog Desmond. Uh, he's really weird. We got him for Christmas two years ago. We named him De after Desmond Howard, an old Michigan football player. He's supposed to be a really outgoing dog. He's really weird, honestly. He's scared of like everything, especially parked cars. We take him on a walk, he'll just sit in Middle Street when a moving car is coming. He's not scared of moving cars, just parked cars. Um, if you start petting him, he won't leave you alone for a long time. He'll just come up and put his head on you. It's actually really cute, but it gets annoying. So yeah, he's my dog. I'm his favorite. Come here. Okay, he doesn't listen at all, but my whole family can tell he, I'm his favorite. This is where I spend a majority of my time in my room. Um, when we do have classwork assigned, I usually go on my fire stick and I watch crash courses that they assign to us to watch. And it's easier to watch my room just because it's easier to pay attention. This is where I like to do most of my classwork just because we don't really have any distractions in here like Netflix or anything. Right now I'm working on an algebra quiz. For these, we just print them out and then we scan them and send them to our teacher. We also have my daily and weekly assignments and them also written down. Me and my siblings like to come in here and work on our laptops on the couches or on the computer just to keep us accountable and on track. We also watch the news sometimes. I try to wake up at a decent hour every day and start working on stuff just to jumpstart the day so I'm not in bed all day. And yeah. So these are my chicks. This one, this is Penelope. You can tell because she's all black. This one is Poppy. She has an all yellow face with a little bit of brown. This last one, this is Posy. She has a more brown face with a yellow spot in the middle. They're all females and they're all gold laced wine dots. They're a couple days old. And, yeah. <laughs> Hi, my oh, name's Jasmine, are. and these are the Quarantine Diaries. Oh, that's my sister giving me a treat. Oh, and this is me walking down the sidewalk. The neighbors even drew pictures for me. That's so nice. 
I love getting belly rubs, but I also love making people happy when they're stressed out. I'm a therapy dog, it's my job. But the one thing I love most of all is theater. I have to admit, I love being on stage. Oh, that was from my first musical. I had to ride around in a doggy umbrella. Oh, I was also Bruiser Woods in Little Blonde. Look. Before COVID-19, I was supposed to be in Anything Goes. Now all I have to do is sleep. But I pass the time by making TikToks. Other than that, I spend my quarantine looking back on all of the fun people that I've met over my years. I miss them all so much and hope they're all staying safe, happy, and healthy. In these dark times, don't forget to smile! So far in quarantine, in these very boring times, my family has made a couple ways to stop being bored and to like let the time pass. So what we've done is we've taken my dog on more walks. Um, we've done a bunch of puzzles. Um, we've thought of new and creative ways to make dinner. Like we had a competition who can make the best pizza. And it's just been kind of like a lot of just filling up the time because we have a lot of hours in the day now. So yeah, um, so that's how my family just stays busy during these times. Today, I'll be taking you into the life of Ruby Peckman. Ruby is an eight-year-old Cocker Spaniel and she was the runt of her group. Ruby knows lots of tricks, like rolling over, she can sit, spin, laying down, and catch. Ruby goes on daily walks, and especially being in this quarantine with the coronavirus going on, Ruby's been more active than she's ever been. Ruby hates it when we go to school because she loves seeing us. She'll wait at the window until we get back. Ruby is truly an energetic dog and she loves us so much. Thank you for watching Ruby's Daily Life. Hello, my name is Bridget and I am going to show you my quarantine headquarters where I sit for hours on end every day doing work because what else would I do? All right, so this is my primary workspace. It's not much, but you know, it works. <laughs> and I'd have to say it's much more comfortable than a desk. So that's kind of nice. But basically the essentials of what I have here on, uh, I guess like an everyday work day for me in quarantine would be my laptop where I do everything on. Yeah, my umbrella back screensaver thing. And then I always have a folder sitting on like this little chair next to me with earbuds in case I need to listen to anything. And then I always have my pencil pouch, which is an essential. And then I keep my calculator nearby just because a lot of the time I'm doing math. And then um, I always print out whatever papers I need to print out here. And then a lot of the stuff I do actually takes place like on my laptop, like for example, well, this is like my primary quarantine space. I have like a document where I keep track of all my work and kind of like my goal for the day. So while there's not much to showcase here, I just wanted to let you all know, you know, what my life is like and what my work space is like during this quarantine. This is my quarantine workspace for when I do schooling. It's uh, in my room. Here's my laptop so I can do my online schoolwork. Here's my Google Home. I can ask it uh, questions in case I don't know what's going on in school. Um, 
In here I have a drawer under my bed where I keep all my school utensils like binders and my papers and other things I need to do schoolwork. Okay, so most of us are stuck at home, bored, nothing to do besides schoolwork, which can get boring if you spend hours doing it. So I'm here to help you by recommending some TV shows for you watching during this quarantine. So let's get started. So on Netflix, I'd recommend Gossip Girl. It's my favorite show. I've watched it, like, I'm on my third time now. I think it's, I just think it's a really good show. I love the plot and all the characters and stuff. And I'm also watching Vampire Diaries right now. I'm only on the first episode still, just because I've been watching Gossip Girl so much. But I, up so far, I think it's a pretty good show. And I just, I think they're really good. And... You know, I, I besides these two shows, I haven't been really watching anything because I get bored easily. I also think this, you know, Tall the Boys. P.S. I still love you. The sequel of Tall the Boys I've ever loved before. I really like the first movie, and I think the sequel's good too. I just haven't gone through the full thing of it yet because I get bored watching movies very easily. But besides that, I don't think I've been really watching anything interesting right now. And so, yeah. So during this quarantine, I would probably recommend watching Gossip Girl. It has six seasons, 22 episodes per season, except for the last season. It has 10 episodes, but it's still really good. And each episode is like 45 to 50 minutes long. So it would probably last you through it at least in May if you don't binge watch. But if you binge watch, it'll probably last you like through the next week or so. Still not that long, but I mean, it's good. So I would give it a 5 out of 5 rating. So if you want to watch something, watch that. So stay safe, guys. Hey, guys. And today I'm with my dog, Luna. Um, she is a Whippet Terrier. Loves to play Frisbee. Oh, gosh. Um, she has an older brother. His name's Izzy. He's a Chihuahua. But they don't really play together because he's pretty lazy. She... She said her favorite foods are any types of scraps that we like giving her. And she's not paying attention to me. Hey, Luna, come here. Um, Her favorite catchphrases are, do you want to go on a walk? Or, like, whenever we want to go over our grandma's house, she loves to go visit them. Uh, her favorite type of... Actually, I don't even know what I was going to say. Sorry. I was just throwing frisbee. Um... But Luna is very energetic, loves to be outside, loves to be around kids and all, all her friends, and she's a very happy dog. Hey guys, so I'm going to show you a quick tour of my quarantine workspace. So I'll start off with where I lift weights and such. It's where I work out, you know, do everything to keep me in shape. And then I'll show you where I practice my trumpet. Here's where I keep all my music. And just really is where I do anything in regards for band. Then I eat lunch here at my desk. And then if we take a stroll over here to my very convenient place where I do my homework. My bed. And basically that's all. I hope all of you guys are staying healthy. Happy 17th birthday, Emma. Love you. Soon. Happy birthday, Emma. <laughs> what? Okay, I got a picture with me. <laughs> show you my bedroom slash workspace slash quarantine space um for 2020 um 
So, <laughs> this is my room. It's kind of cute. Um, this is my oil diffuser, which I know a lot of people are going to hate on, but um, it actually, like, really helps me to not stress out. Like, I don't know why. It's just, like, the smells or something. Um, I have a lot more in my bathroom, but, like, I like to keep my favorites right there. Um, this is my dresser where I usually, you know, get dressed and, um, you know, just, like, I have, like, a lot of dumb stuff, like, everywhere, so... Um, this chair is usually where I do all my schoolwork or on my floor, which is, like, kind of weird, like, right there. I don't know why. Um, that's my laptop I use <laughs> for school. There's me. Um, this is my TV, which is, like, kind of weird, random to say, but that's kind of what I, like, spend a lot of time on is, like, watching the Food Network or playing Animal Crossing. Um, so that's really like it for my little room tour, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. So thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>
pencils, pens, Darth Vader. <laughs> um, so that's basically it. Um, thank you very much. Goodbye. All right, so we're here just, we're finishing up editing the show. Before we go, I want to give you a few recommendations of my own um, if you're bored. So first of all, of course, go to CanfieldCardinal.com for all of our fresh new content. Play with your cat. Um, if you have Netflix, definitely watch Nailed It. It's stupid. It's fun. People screwing up making baked goods. Um, it's a great way to just kill time a half hour at a time and just laugh. Um, on Hulu, Atlanta, probably the best show on TV. Definitely watch it. Half hour episodes, two seasons, catch up. It's great. Um, an old show, but one of my favorites, um, a Japanese cartoon called Cowboy Bebop. It's also on Hulu. Um, one season, there's like 20 episodes. I'm not really into Japanese animation, but this is one of the coolest shows I've ever seen. It's like a sci-fi, um, outer space cowboy kind of deal. It's like um, guys on Mars, uh, bounty hunters, and the music is awesome. It's very cool. It's from the 90s. Watch it. Um, one of the best movies I've seen in a while, Portrait of a Lady on Fire. It just came out. Um, it's French. It's on Hulu. It's amazing. Um, on Amazon Prime, you can watch Parasite right now. Best movie of the year last year um, from the Oscars. I think it's the best movie of 2019 as well. It's on Amazon Prime. Watch it. Um, if you're looking for some websites that just have some cool stuff, if you want to brush up on culture um, and just see what's going on in the world in a fun way, the AV Club, I check it every day. Um, it's my favorite website probably, has movies, books, music, all kinds of great stuff. Again, canfieldcardinal.com. Also, don't forget to read your books. Um, two recommendations for books, The Devil in the White City, one of my favorite books of all time. It's true crime story of a serial killer um, at the turn of the century in Chicago during the World's Fair, it's great. And the Topeka School, um, which just came out last year, one of the best books I've read in a long time. Um, look them up, if they sound good to you, I definitely recommend them. And then the very last thing that I'll recommend is go outside, enjoy the day, it's beautiful, take a walk, I try to take a walk every day. So get out there and enjoy the fresh air, be safe, We'll see you soon.